This section focuses on integers and absolute values. This picture I found on the internet somewhere and I just liked it because it looked cool. It looks like the ocean is spilling out of the picture into reality. Firstly, we're going to look at ordering numbers from least to greatest. And we need some vocabulary for that. When I refer to whole numbers, whole numbers are like the numbers you count with your brother and sister and zero. So it would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. Integers are those whole numbers we just discussed, plus their opposites. So it would start at negative infinity and go all the way up to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and it would go in both directions forever and ever and ever. Usually when we draw a number line, we label a number line with the integers. If zero's in the center, it doesn't have to be, but when zero is in the center, your negative integers are to the left and your positive integers are to the right. Notice the more negative a number is, the further to the left it is. So four and negative four and five and negative five are further apart than negative 1 and 1. Let's use this number line to order the integers from least to greatest. You don't have to use a number line to assist you with these, but sometimes it can be helpful. First, let's look at 6. 6 is a positive value, so it will appear here on the number line. Four is a positive value, and it will appear to the right of zero as well. Negative three is our first negative value, and that will appear to the left of zero. Negative five will be to the left of zero. Negative 9 will be to the left of 0, as will negative 10. Positive 7 is back on the right side of 0, as is positive 1. Now that we have our number line, it's easy to see which is the furthest value to the left or which is the smallest number. So to write these numbers from least to greatest, I'm going to go from left to right. So I'm going to start with negative 10, followed by negative 9, negative 5, negative 3, positive 1, positive 4, positive 6, and finally, positive 7. You try an example. Pause your video and order these numbers from least to greatest. Got your answer? Did you get negative 6, negative 2, negative 1, four, six, and eight? If so, great job, go on to the next problem. If not, review the previous problem and try using a number line. Our last piece of vocabulary is absolute value. Absolute value is the positive distance between a number and zero. For me, the easiest way to think about this is to think about it as Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant, he is from one of my all-time favorite movies, The Princess Bride. And I think of him standing on one of those number lines on zero and seeing how many steps it would take for him to get from zero to the number. When you're talking about taking steps, even if you walk backward, you're still increasing the number of steps you've taken during the day. So we always count the positive distance. 
Looking at this example, you would read this as the absolute value of 5. Those bars hold that number captive until you can tell what the absolute value is. Once you've given your answer, the absolute value bars aren't necessary anymore and they cannot be used. So here's Andre standing on zero. If I want to see how many steps it will take him to get from zero to, one, uh, to five, I can just count. It's going to take one, two, three, four, five steps for Andre to get from zero to five. So the absolute value of 5 is simply 5. Let's try a negative number. The absolute value of negative 4, it will take Andre 1, 2, 3, 4 steps to get from 0 to negative 4. So the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. Give these problems a try. Pause your video and try these on your own. When you have the answer, restart your video. Did you get 3, 8, and 0? If so, nice job. Give yourself a star with an underline underneath. If not, give yourself an X, go back and try again. For this section, you'll have six homework problems, four on finding the absolute value, and two problems where you will need to order the numbers from least to greatest. Feel free to use a number line if you found that helpful.